Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sarah. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so happy you guys joined us today. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you like videos like this or if you like more videos like this. So today's video, I'm just going to give you a few tips on how to shoot a YouTube video using your iPhone. So let's get into it. Guys, so tip number one is always filming using your back camera. It's tempting to hold the phone like this so you can see what's going on, but the truth is the camera on the back is a lot better quality and it's gonna get you like a clearer image and help you shoot better videos than if you film from the front. The fil if you film from the front, it will be okay but it really will be better quality if you film from this camera. I learned this along the way. When I started my YouTube channel, I did film from here just so I could see what I'm looking at. But even that can be bad because then you could end up looking at the screen and then it doesn't look like you're making eye contact with the viewers. If you do film from the front, try to look at the lens. All right, guys. So when you're using your iPhone to film your videos and you're using your back camera, also be really aware to hold your phone horizontally like this rather than vertically like this. When you film holding your phone vertically, like I know that it's like instinct to like hold a phone like that, but if you hold it like this, then you're going to end up with those black lines on the side of the video. Like I made that mistake for my first video. If you go back and watch my very first YouTube video, I filmed the whole thing with my phone vertically there's the black lines. If you film holding your phone horizontally, the, the video is going to take up the whole screen. A lot better for the viewers to watch. I'd much rather watch a video that's full screen than half screen. So that's just a tip. Another tip for shooting from your iPhone is lighting. Lighting can be very important. If you can, film using natural light. If not, I would suggest getting a ring light like this. I love this ring light. It's so helpful. It has this so you can make it more dim or you can make it more bright. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, so there's different settings. Along with having a really good lighting, having something steady to put your phone on. If you have a ring light like this, I got this on Amazon, it wasn't too expensive, but having this allows you to be hands-free. It allows you to be hands-free so you could do whatever you want with your hands. It's more natural than like going like this. Although I know you're not always going to be filming inside the house. I know I film outside the house and like when I'm out and I'm filming, I hold, I hold the phone, I do. But if you don't want to do that, there is an option to get like a handheld tripod. So like you would hold it like this. I just choose not to do that. It's not really my style, but it is an option if that would be something you guys would want to do. My ring light I got on Amazon.com. It was $27.99. I bought it in July. It's now February. I recommend it. I'll put the link in the description box below for you guys. So if you are looking for something that isn't too expensive, not too expensive and quite necessary for your YouTube channel, I would recommend getting one of those. So yeah. All right guys, so if you like this video and would like more videos like this, please comment below. I have more tips that I'd like to share with you if you wanna hear them. Comment in the comment section below if there was some that I didn't mention that you wanna share with everybody to help them out. We're all new once, so I really hope this video helps people. I also plan on making a video on how to edit YouTube videos using your iPhone because I have had some people asking me about that. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I love you so, 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 so much. Mwah. God bless you all. Have a great day. Oh, also, sorry about some of the background noise in uh, this video. I always try to film where like it's quiet. That's also another bonus tip. 
film in a quiet environment, but sometimes my house makes noise. So I'm sorry. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found.